problems. Um, and she said, I'm going to focus on part C here because the first two we should we should be OK with. Uh, focus on part C and then I really want to do number six because there's something in number six that I didn't get to talk about yet. I briefly talked about, but I just want to do it and we'll practice. And this part C is very important to practice with the with the app. OK. Yeah, good. So. Being that you have the app, this is going to be a little bit more effort, but that's OK. It's not hard anyway. So on average, indoor cats live to 16 years and a standard deviation of 2.6. So. Look at me using yellow again. I really don't like yellow. What's my deal? Let's go. I'm sorry if anybody likes yellow. I don't really like it. OK. Tripping out, yo. All right. Let me do light blue. <laughs> OK. So my mean, ah, nice, is 16. I love blue. And standard deviation is 2.6. And so that's my distribution, 16, 2.6. All right, I'm going to skip B for now if I have to go and, you know, if you want questions about that. We did something like that yesterday. I want to do part C specifically for the um, the app that you guys have because it doesn't have the option, right? It doesn't have this option. When I go into bars, inverse norm, it doesn't have the option where you could pick this. So you can't just be like, I want the middle or the center. So, <clears throat> um. They give me the middle 40%. So I'm going to draw that out real quick. And I'm on a normally distribution, normal distribution curve with the mean is 16 and the standard deviation is 2.6. The center of this curve is 16. I always like to put the mean as a center. It is, but I always like to put it on my curve just so I know what's the center. And then the horizontal scale here is what? The age at the death of randomly selected indoor cat. I'm just going to put age. Some of these problems are really like, depressing. OK, age. OK. Um, all right, so middle 40%. I did something like this yesterday, I think. Middle 40% means the center 40%. So this total, you know, blue, light blue is 40% or 0.4. And I want to know, and I'll do one with pink. We'll call this X1. I want to know what values separate this middle 40%. And then we'll do green is okay. I could do with green. X2. Okay. I want to know these two values. Now, being that you guys um, don't have that one option on the calculator, I'm going to show you on the calculator real quick. Um, this is a little bit easier, but whatever, it's okay. If you have this option, the area is 0.4, the mean is, what is it, 16? and the standard deviation is 2.6. And all you have to do is tell it that it's the center if you have this option. And it gives you, whoops, I pressed, I think, something by accident. Whoops, inverse norm, that's not, yeah. 0.4 is my area, my mean is 16, my standard deviation is 2.6, center and enter. OK, it gives me the two values that separate it. So 14.6 is the lower end and 17.36 is the upper end. So it does it really nice, obviously, right? The TI-84 Plus is fancy. It has that fancy stuff. But let's assume I don't have that. But those of you that have it, you're done, OK, if you have that option. Those of you that don't have it or if you have the app, which does not have it, <clears throat> that's OK. But let's start with this one. Now, I already gave away that I'm using inverse norm because of the fact that I know the area. I need to find the area to the left of my X1. Because when I do inverse norm, you guys with the calculator app. On your phone, it automatically is assuming area to the left. But we can figure that out. So if this is 0.4, right, total area is one, then that means that, you know, you know, 60% or 0.6 is the rest of it. And half of that would go here. 
and technically half of that would go here. Right? Does that make sense? So that all of it adds up to one. And I have to be symmetric. So everybody has to be, you know, very similar. And, you know, the area to the left of this should be the same as area to the left of this because, you know, these guys have similar distance from the center. Okay. So we're all symmetric. Now this, so I always like to do this one first. This is my low one, right? To separate this middle 40%. So I need to figure this one out, but that's easy. I go straight to inverse norm. My area is 0.3. Remember, it's always area first, and it's always area to the left of the value that I want. And then it, and then it's always comma, mean, and then standard deviation. Okay, so my lower end, which I called x1, which is the first like data value, whatever, is found by doing that. So <clears throat> I'll do it on here, second vars, and on my calculator here, second vars, number three inverse norm. <clears throat> and then, you know, your area is 0.3, and I'm gonna do it on my phone too. And then my mean was 16, standard deviation was 2.6. You don't have this option. It automatically assumes area to the left. You guys need to make sure that you put it this way, 0.3, then comma, commas on top of seven, and then 16, comma, and then 2.6. And so I have the lower end, 14.6. And we're rounding probably to four, right? 14.6366. So make sure you have that. Let me know if you have that. That's the lower end, 14 point, uh, should have given myself more space. Round to four decimal places. So this is what it looks like on my app. Okay. Make sure you have that and let me know if you have questions. This is just the leftmost part of this area, which is the lower end of that middle situation. I'm gonna do the upper end in green. Okay, good. Cool. The upper end in green, um, I'm gonna go like this. I have to find all the area to the left of that one. So my green area is area to the left of this, but that's not so bad because of the fact that it's simply this point three that I already said was here, plus, the 0.4 that I said was here, or 0.7, which would make sense, remember all this green, because this is 0.3. Okay, let me know if that makes sense. So my X2 would be inverse norm on my graphing calculator app, since you guys don't have the option of center, 0.7, 16, and 2.6. So you would go um, inverse norm, second bars, inverse norm, you have to tell it 0.7 and you have to know the order in which to input. So you would say 0.7 and then comma and then 16 and then comma and 2.6 for the app. You don't have that little, you just have to know the order in which to input it. But it does tell you before you actually click on number three, it tells you the order, right? <clears throat> and this one is 0.7 comma, what I say, 16 comma 2.6. And this is, and then I'll go screenshot that. So you get the same thing as what we did before. It's just that, okay, it was a little extra step because you had to make sure you found area to the left, particularly 17.3634. Okay, and that's my high end, 17.3634, I'm running out of space. Okay, this is the high end. I wanna make sure that makes sense. Let me uh I'll probably let me let me stop the recording here. I'll come back on again. <clears throat> make sure